wanting to win. A high school football team's success wiped from the books after being forced to forfeit their first three games of the season. Tonight, that wait is over and excitement is building for members of the Selene High School football team. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Demond Fernandez in for Devin Skillian. Will Jones joins us live now. So, Will, the team is moving forward with its schedule. Hey, Damon and Kimberly, game time is at 7 o'clock tonight. The Slane Hornets are ready to take action against Bedford for their homecoming game. As the fight wages on to reinstate their wins, the team is focused on the matchups ahead and getting those W's. Although their record no longer reflects that, the Slane High School football team still feels undefeated. Now, I know that yesterday at practice, they were more pumped up than ever. They were not undefeated by accident. This team works hard. They're dedicated, and I think they're going to continue to put their head down and uh, prove a point. The team is now 2-3 after forfeiting the first three games of the season Tuesday due to a residency infraction involving a player. The school self-reported to the Michigan High School Athletic Association after discovering the issue. At last night's school board meeting, the board supported a motion to direct the superintendent to seek information on how to appeal the decision. Today, the board's president telling me they received a document from MHSAA that will help guide their next steps if they decide to pursue an appeal, an action that players and parents say they support. The school acted very prematurely. Um, a full and complete investigation, from my understanding, was not conducted. Tonight is homecoming and the team's first game since the forfeiture was announced. As parents, we're going to be out there to support them in, in an extra special way when they come out on the field tonight, and they know we're behind them. We're told the team has rallied around the player at the center of this issue. Keep in mind, he played on the team last year. The game is about to get underway at 7 o'clock. The district said Tuesday they're going to make sure that this issue never happens again to make sure that there are better safeguards in place. We're live in Celine Will Jones, Local 4. All right, Will. Thank you.